I get a lot of questions about different types of dysautonomia and the relationship to fertility. Obviously, a lot of women are people that are dealing with dysautonomia, and fertility is a major component of their life and, and what they're trying to be. So it's really important to note that that hormonal system that is going to govern that capacity is tied to the autonomic system. And that happens through areas in the hypothalamus and as we move on down through pituitary gland and how those two, how the neurological system integrates with the endocrine system. But just know that a lot of people that are going through a period of having autonomic difficulties may see alterations in hormonal responses that may make it more difficult to get pregnant or carry a pregnancy to term. But that can be a good window to say, like, what can we do to try to look at how the autonomic system and the endocrine system are interfacing and see where can we intervene to make the system work better? And it's really cool to hear. I have, I have a number of friends that, are, that specialize in fertility, and it's really cool to hear about all the cases where people have a hard time getting pregnant, and then by just changing a couple little tweaks, they're able to, uh, to get pregnant and have a baby. So that's pretty exciting stuff.